should I or will I pre-order the new Contra game? They just dropped a demo. Let's give it a play. Let's see if it's worth the purchase price. Fuck it, we'll go with Lance. Lance's spirit. Oh, we get perks. Okay, cool. Love Contra. At least I love the memory of Contra. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. All Contras can jump a second time in midair or dash horizontally. <laughs> you can stand in place, I think. Yeah, okay. Double jump, it's Contra. The buttons are a little weird. I wish the you can shooting... Aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. Hey, now. Spread shot. Wow, I'm doing terribly. What the fuck is that? Can you dash? What's that? Shoot a weapon pod to release its cargo. Experiment with a variety of weapon types. Okay. Oh my god. Dead. Okay, I'm struggling. Our choppers take an enemy fire. It's going down. Man, it's it's really hard for me anyway. Like it's not a very intro friendly level. God damn! I'm trying to figure out what's happening in my brain, like why I'm struggling to kind of walk into the cadence of this. There's like a there's something about it that's that's I'm not gelling vibing with. Not that it's battery. God damn it. I'm just, I can't quite settle into this game. It's almost like it's not, it's, it's not sort of, what's the word? It's not predictable. It feels more chaotic than I would expect and hard to kind of really track shit, but that may just be, I'm Take 52 and I'm not very good at video movement, games. I don't know. There was a game I played a couple of weeks ago, uh, that metal meat thing or whatever. I played it on stream. That actually had a much better uh, feeling than this does, which is crazy given this is way forward. But like as a, a first blush demo, I, I had a better we'll welcoming be experience with it. Drops. Try the overload function now. Okay, that's cool. Can I do it with the other one? Cool. Oh, it stops time? That's kind of cool. Surprise. Damn it. Oh my god, no! Let me fucking pick this thing up! Reach the enemy base. Wow, this is like the oh. Come on. This is exactly from the NES one. Oh, okay, you can't dodge through the bullets. Yeah, it's hard to see these bullets from me. Like those blue bullets. It's really hard to track stuff in this for me. Oh, they're coming from the waterfalls. That's cool. What the fuck? Cool. What am I, a fucking moron? Jaffe going to heaven? Ha, huh, of course not. 100% promise that Jaffe is going to hell. Have you seen the nose? Come on, no chance he gets in. But you should still subscribe, like, and consider a membership, you dumb shit. This is like 19 bucks, I'd buy it. But there's I there's no way I'm gonna order this if it's $29.99, which is what it feels like they're gonna charge for this. It's not worth that. I mean at least that's my first blush, but again, I mean that's what the demo is for, right? Damn it, grab the fucking thing. 
Come on now. Yeah, this is too hard for me. Alright, let me let me quit and try easy real quick. I'm not new to the running gun genre. Fucking playing it forever. I'm just kinda like, you know, fuck you. Smooth Maybe man, things will be better in, without playing it. someone named Lance. You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. Oh my god. Work and will be sending frequent supplies. Yeah, I don't like this. Okay. Love way forward. I think they're an amazing developer, but and I'll fully concede, um, maybe if I could get good, sure, but no. I get that it's supposed to be hard. I don't know how to really express what I'm feeling. Uh, let me, let me look at, let's look at this real quick. First, let's see how much this game costs. My guess is this is a $29 game. 40 bucks? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, go fuck yourself, no. I mean, it's clearly well made, way forward is the shit. They get a free pass always with me. But my goodness gracious, that's that was not my cup of tea. Like I said, I played this, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm trying to figure out what is different between a game like this and the professionally made Contra game. It's clearly inspired by Contra, there's no doubt. All right, he double jumps? No, don't even double jump. My initial impression is because the graphics are simple, um, you can stand in place, uh, it's easier to see things. Like things, yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, this is the exact same game. Oops. Um, and I don't even think, does he even have, yeah, you don't have that kind of, um, you don't even have that precision aiming, which I miss. I liked that in the new Contra they just showed us. But I'm able to tell where the bullets are. For the most part, they're bright and they pop. Yeah, that's exactly what. How how in the world is this not something where? You, I mean, maybe gamers don't like that clarity. But for me, like so far, every time now I've gotten hit, I totally feel like, oh, that was me. Totally my fault. Does this have a dash? I don't think so. I miss the dash, and I miss the precision aiming. But you know, I'll, I'll take clarity over that any day. Plus, I think thematically, this is a lot more interesting. But between the two, uh, this one is immediately fun. Uh, the other one just felt meh. Isn't that something? I mean, there's still, I don't know if there's still time, but what is going on? Way Forward's one of the best in the business. And again, maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys are played the demo, which is available now, I think, on pretty much every console and PC. And maybe most people are like, no, no, we love that, Jaffe. That's, this is for babies, what you're playing. And that may be the case. But I look at this and I just go, you know, how, how could WayForward not put a lot of effort into sort of the visual queuing? And again, I, I think they're amazing, so I'm not trying to sit around telling them how to make their games, because they know a hell of a lot more about this genre than I do. I just know that I can play this, and I couldn't play that, and I played them both on easy, so don't go, well, the last time we played on hard, or medium. No, I played on medium this too, but the last Contra I played a minute ago was easy mode, and I still couldn't play it. Like, I don't want to stop playing this. I gotta edit the video now, but this is fun. Look at that one simple thing. There's a design lesson for you. I mean, that sounds so smug, because again, if it was any other kind of game, or a game maybe... Here's what I'll say. As a fan, I can say there's a design lesson for you. I, I don't... I've never worked on a game like this, so I couldn't tell you the challenges, or I couldn't tell you the logic, and I'm certainly not like some kind of MLG pro at this genre, but I can just tell you that for me, this is enjoyable, and I feel responsible for my deaths in this one. The other one, I'm just like, go fuck yourself. It's not my problem. I can't see any goddamn thing. Maybe it's a colorblind thing. Maybe most people don't have that problem. Maybe it's like a settings thing. I'm gonna go back and see if there's a colorblind setting. If there is, maybe I'll suddenly fall in love with it. See that? Like, orange against the blue, right? Um, and they're, they're not just the different colors, but they're, they seem brighter. That you, the things you can engage with. Like that, I mean, they go out of their way. It's like, don't stand here. Okay. 
All right, let's go back to Contra real quick. I just I want to see if there is a colorblind thing in Contra, and maybe that's just it may be a me issue where my eyes are getting bad. Because you know my dad was colorblind. You know that. Come on, everybody knows that. So strange. Yeah. Let's go to options. Aiming, vibration. Yeah, none of that. I'm gonna try it again now that I've had a little bit of. Because the production value in this is obviously really nice. Um, it's a pretty looking game. Take a moment I wanna, to practice I wanna like this as much as I like shooting. the other one, but let's what? see if Doyle maybe... Tells me all can yeah, see, these guys are red, but they, ca they don't... It's not that they blend in, but there's no... See? There's no real color palette consistency. It's just... There's, it looks like my thumbnails. It's just like some blue and some purple. I like purple. Put some purple in there. I, I think it's two things. I, I think it is the uh, over-the-top visual clarity of the other one I like. I also think there is a more predictable pattern to the way things move in, in, in that other game, in Iron Me. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see that at all. So I think there's a, a little bit of it is the pattern, like this just almost just feels random. Or the other one feels like they've laid everything out so you have a good shooting experience that's challenging but fair. This almost just feels like they're like, we don't have time to hand place everything. And so, uh, let's, oh, is that Rambo in the back? That was Rambo in the back. Is that Rambo? Check that guy out. That's not my buddy. Oh, that's Lance. That's Lance Bass. Um, this feels like they just kind of had the computer go, here's all of our pieces, and, uh, let's down. just, every 20 seconds, let's pop something new out, and it's like wind-up toys, but it doesn't feel crafted. That's part of it. Like, a lot of times I'm like, maybe, oh, oh, I, let's, I bet, I see. Look at this, look at, I think, I, look at this. So, I think there's too many frames of animation? Like, watch when he ducks, right? Breathe. See, when he ducks here... That's like, see, it's not instant. There's actual frames there. I don't know, there, there's something about the controls in this game that don't feel as tight and dependable. So between the inability to be able to sort of track what's going on visually, um, the AI feeling not very uh, predictable, and then the controls feeling, yeah, they don't really feel like they're right for this game. All right, let's just try real quick on iron meat. I just want to see if you can immediately duck. I bet you can. All right, I bet it just pops to that, to your on the ground. Look at that, look at that. Burp, burp, burp. Look at that, look at that. Burp, burp, burp. See, it's not instant. There's actual frames there. Does WayForward know that? And they're like, Konami's the one pushing back and going, no, it's not, it needs to look good. It may need to look good, but that, let's try the turning, uh, turning's, I mean, turning's about the same, although the, the, the other turning feels a little sluggish too. I mean, this is just instant. Yeah, come on, come on, man. This is the kind of shit you, you should have fixed way before Alpha, like this should have been your, Unless they were like, they valued visuals over, I don't fucking know. I mean, no matter how good the game looks, no one's gonna buy it if they don't like the genre. Um, this is a, my opinion is, this is a much better Contra than Contra, the new Contra. Like, this is genuinely compelling and fun. I highly recommend this when it comes out. But yeah, this is staggeringly better. Like, I'm playing, I'm literally playing now, like, I'm like, dude, you gotta finish. So you can go edit, there's gonna be a long video to edit. I know, but it's fun. It just feels good to play. Contra does not. Ah! See, that was me getting greedy. Every time so far I've died in this game, I know it's me. Like, I can see it coming, and I can check myself and go, oh, you, were, you were going for it, and you got greedy, bud. Even, like, the scenarios, watch this, like, the, yeah, this is so much better. Even the scenarios, like this bridge, I remember this from when I played it last time, it's like, oh, this is that part, right? It's like, everything is, 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 like I said, it feels handcrafted. And so you kind of, you, you can kind of plan a little bit, and you can kind of get a sense of what's in, and now it's like, oh, this is that part. Whereas that Contra game, yeah, there were some chunks like, oh, here's the boss or whatever, or the mini boss, but it just felt, it just felt random. It didn't feel like it was really planned out.
And I'm not, I'm sure it was, but I'm just saying it felt that way. But even the boss, I know exactly what's taking damage. I know, uh, like this. Like, I can see it very, very clearly. It pops. I'm not doing very good. This game's great. Oh, you can shoot the things out? Oh, that's cool, too. Oh, the train level. Come on. I can't play it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta edit. Wish I could just go to chat GPT and say, edit this video for me. You know what? I, here's what I'm trying to communicate to people. Like, even, like I said, this, I mean, again, I only played one level of Contra, so maybe that gets real creative, but right from the get-go, this game has so many more interesting enemy types and scenario types. Come on, look at that. Dude made out of metal and he's a cop with a, come on now. I want that dash, though. My muscle memory's already taken into account that dash, and now I keep... I mean, I'm dying because I suck, but... I'm also dying because, like, right there, I thought I was... I want to dash into that. Damn it, Jeff. Oh, shit. I can play this all day. I gotta go at it. All right. But to go back to the original question at the top of this video, will I be pre-ordering uh, the Konami game? Uh, hell no. Not at all. The Contra, but I will be absolutely picking up this game whenever it comes out. Iron Meat from Retroware. Uh, good job, fellas. Oh, they also made Prison City, which I played the demo and I enjoyed, but everybody says this is just a great fucking game as well, and I need to go back and I wonder if this was good. I need to keep an eye on this uh, publisher. This is pretty good stuff. Can I, f can I follow them? Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, be well, everybody. Talk soon. Bye.